too. I like the two. Without me talking, okay? Mm -hmm. No, no, the green. Green. Green again, please. G, B. Because I want it to be easy for you, honey. No, no, that sounds good a lot better. Do it here. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to let go. You do it, okay? Ready? Mm -hmm. Go. make it sound as pretty as we can together like this. Get ready, get ready. Join me now, play. Nice. Now the pink, G, B, and stop and play. It's important to do this and it's much easier but but here's the thing that I know you can do this and here's the other thing that I truly know if you were practicing this you would be really good at it and I would just be already going to a new scale with you okay so here's here's the bottom line this is everybody this week look at all my students those guys everybody this week and my other Monday Tuesday students I am telling everybody you have to do scales and arpeggios so you can work on your bow sound, you can work on your left hand, thumb flat, and smart fingers. And if you do not do that, I cannot teach you because we won't progress. Because this is the only place we get to warm up and learn the skills that it takes to make violin playing super easy peasy. Then you can have fun with all the songs in the world. Okay? Scales are a must. Do you understand? Say that. Scales are a must. Scales are a must. Yes. And so make sure you do it. Make sure she does it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? If she says, Audrey, you need to do your scales, and you give her any lip, she's going to tell me. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you go, oh, yes, that's right. And why do we do scales and arpeggios? To practice for songs. Yes. And for our skills. To get make it violin playing easy, okay? Would you have a song you would like to play for me? Because I have something new I want to give you today. Yeah. yeah. 